Good morning from Sizopol, the next part of my little mini-series on Bulgaria's Black Sea coast. Now, if you've seen the other two episodes, you'll know that I've been blessed with some completely ridiculous weather, and the sun's out again today. We did have a little storm last night, and uh, it's a little bit chillier today. I'm wearing tracksuit bottoms rather than shorts, but November the 9th, no complaints. Staying here in Sazopol for the next two episodes. I managed to get the bus down from Borgas, cheap enough. Six lev, I think it was, which is about £2.60. Leaves from platform five, Borgas South Station. Easy as that. As usual, there's not much of a plan for this video. I'm just gonna grab the camera, have a walk around, see what happens. One thing I will say that's immediately obvious is this place is deserted. Borgas is quiet, but obviously, being a decent sized city, there's a few people around. Nessabar's old town did have quite a few people walking around, but here it seems completely dead. All around me here is just deserted hotels, holiday apartments and actually I've got a bit of a story about yesterday because I booked a hotel on hotels.com and when I showed up it was shut for refurbishment despite the fact they'd taken 88 quid off me so a bit of a change of plans when I arrived nothing like a little bit of faffing about to start the day but we're okay we're here now this behind me is Sizopol Central Beach and as you can see it's absolutely heaving with tourists. Alexa, play Ghost Town by the Specials. Well, actually we can't do that because it's copyright music but you get the idea. Now, although it might be a, a little too chilly to swim today, although I have seen Stranger Things. In fact, I haven't seen this season of Stranger Things yet, which has just reminded me I need to watch it, but that's irrelevant to this. What I was about to say before I got sidetracked by science fiction is that it's a really nice sandy beach, so if you were here a bit earlier in the year and you wanted to lounge around on the beach, it's a pretty good one for it. As we leave the beach, we're greeted by these historical ruins. I'd love to tell you what they are, but they're not even on Google Maps, so that will remain a mystery. Let's leave the old Shonomori, the Black Sea, alone for a moment and head into the historic old town. Not sure if you can make it out on that lamppost back there, but there's little Wi-Fi symbols everywhere. I'm not sure if there's supposed to be free Wi-Fi in here, but if there is, it doesn't work. I love the colours they use for buildings in Bulgaria. That 
light pastel shade of blue is a particular favourite as well. In the centre of the old town here we're greeted by the remains of a church again. Maybe not quite as impressive as the one in Nessabar, but lovely nonetheless. one's got a for sale sign on it. What do you reckon? Should I put in a bid? Now the downside of it being the off season is once again, much like Nessaba, I would say about 95% of the restaurants are closed. There's a few gift shops and souvenir shops open, but a lot of the stuff is, for obvious reasons, not operating as it would do in the peak. As we make it through the old town here in Sezopol, we've basically run out of land. We've come to the end, and the Black Sea, the Shonamora, is once again in front of us some more ruins to look around. Definitely had lunch in worse places. Lunch done. Let's just keep wandering around. Immediately come across some more archaeological remains. It says it's the Northern Tower, the former entrance to the fortress of Sozopol. Looks like some pretty dramatic waves hitting the rocks down there as well, so we'll go down and take a look. to have found the cat area of the old town of Sezopo. I seem to have a knack for that, don't I? Seem to have hit the end here. I did wonder if I could get down that bit when I saw it on Google Maps, but obviously not. Not sure what they're doing down there, but they don't want me in there. That's going to be all from Sezopol. To be honest, it could be done as a day trip from Borgas if you prefer. I just wanted to change the scenery. If you haven't watched the video from Borgas yet, check that one out, as well as the one from Nessabar. Subscribe for more travel adventures. Stay tuned for the one from Chernomorets. I'll see you there.